My name is Dean Prentice. I'm 28 years young and I'm here today to share my story. Hashtag Dean's journey. So from a very young age, I come into Birmingham City and some of my earliest memories are coming into the stadium and listening to, to, the, to the fans sing Keep Right On and enjoy the cold nights and the floodlights embracing the games and those memories from a really young age have, um, have stayed with me for such a long time and as I've grown up I've continued to be part of the football club and I'm the type of person to, have, to come to the games nice and early and watch the coaching sessions on the pitch and I've always been fascinated by the coaching industry to be perfectly honest with you. I love watching uh, the coaches um, on the first team uh, training ground or the first team pitch and the idea for me is I love helping each other I love helping everybody both on and off the pitch in terms of in terms of coaching so if I take you back to 2018 um, up until October I was living on a fantastic life um, I had been on many holidays I've been a vegetarian for two years and unfortunately in October I was I was coaching and what had happened was is I had become a little bit unwell just for a short period of time. In, actually in, in December I took myself into hospital and having a few tests that was carried out over a period of days I was diagnosed with bowel cancer and then building on from that um, it sort of hit me really hard and going on from that I was, I was told that, that the cancer was spread to other organs in my body and you know it, it, as I say, it was very, very difficult. So in January um, 2019, I started chemotherapy. And the chemotherapy was for three months with the initial thought of seeing how chemotherapy went in terms of whether an operation would be available. Uh, fortunately for myself, I was really lucky to have an operation in July where they took out the initial um, the tumor and they treated that and I was told that I was, I was clear. Uh, and that feeling uh, of relief and the motivation and desire that I went through, um, that, that carried me through, that was, you know, that meant such a lot. But unfortunately, um, a few months down the line, I had a few tests uh, and an MRI scan revealed that the cancer had come back into a number of parts of my, my body. And initially, uh, my first thoughts was, you know, spending as much time as I can with my son, which I've always done, which is really, really important, um, especially bringing him down to, to here you know, with the fans, embracing the atmosphere, and it's just a loving family, you know, near far, whether it be the RTC, the academy and the community, collectively, everybody's come together to support me. And, you know, those moments with my son go such a long way. But fortunately, at the moment, um, I've been, um, been given a drug called Avastin, and that's enabling me to, 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 to live a little bit longer in terms of pre pre um, so preserving my kidney function, uh, tackling the, the cancer, and you know prolonging my life, it isn't available on the NHS, unfortunately. Which I feel so guilty about asking so many people to to support and donate. At the same time, so many people have come forth and, and donated, which generally does go a long way. So that's the reason why we've released the Just Giving pages to, to enable us to, to raise as much money, ideally 36,000 pounds, to prolong treatment for at least a year. And then that would enable me then to, to continue my life with my son. My son, uh, Kaiten, he's currently three years of age. And for me, it's so important to spend as much time as I can with my son. And fortunately, with Birmingham City and the family that we operate in, it's given me the opportunity to continue to bring my son down to game days and enjoy every single moment that the club bring on and off the pitch. And again, there's been many days where we come on the dark nights and my son's got a bag full of dinosaurs and we're watching the football games and we're playing dinosaurs next to each other. And it's just loving, it's absolutely amazing. And that's what I want to continue to do. And at the same time, I have to be really, really realistic. And for me, I know that I'm not going to be there for my, sixth, for my son's 16th 
18th, 21st birthday, and it's, it's heartbreaking for me to say that. At the same time, on a positive note, what I can do now really would impact him going on in the future and making sure that you know, he's happy and the memories that we can share within Birmingham City continue to last, last him a lifetime. So this Friday, um, the 10th of July, we're gonna be launching Dean's Journey 10 for 10. Please get involved. Please look at the Just Giving page. Please donate whatever you can. Everything goes such a long way, but more importantly, um, the messages and the generosity that you've shown is, is so much appreciated and it generally does go a long way. So thank you ever so much. Get involved with the challenge, share it, um, and thanks again.